Good morning, Moms of Masterbooks. Welcome to Moderator Monday. I'm Anna, and I'm a moderator here in the group. Um, I have been um, using Masterbooks. We thought it was more than three years, and I think we're going on our second year exclusively. Um, we have six children, ages 16 to seven months old, and um, we have uh, been homeschooling for 12 years. Our oldest will be um, graduating her senior year next year, so really excited about that. Um, today I want to talk about high school and a high school course that uh, changed our family. We actually found Master Books looking uh, for math. Hello, Carity. Um, we were uh, using different algebra curriculums and they weren't working. And so we kept switching algebra curriculums and it brought tears, it brought heartache, it brought breaking our child's spirit. And somehow I um, stumbled upon principles of math and it was a game changer. Things started making sense, things started clicking and we went from screaming and crying to um, we were in the car one day and she goes, oh, well, if we travel at this speed at this rate, we'll make it to our destination at this amount of time. I did not tell her that was algebra. That was my little secret. But inside, I was praising God. Um, so we switched exclusively about two years ago uh, to master books. And one of the first courses we did was um, astronomy. Our oldest daughter, who hates learning, hates anything that has to do with school, was hesitant to switch curriculums again. And she found that astronomy was more than stars and it was more than planets and that it was about the creation of God and how God uh, created um the heavens and the earth and how science confirms it. It was really exciting to see her go from hating a, a course to loving a course and to see that progression. Um, when we started homeschooling, we didn't have support and somebody recommended a curriculum and we went with it. And yeah, we she became a checklister. She'd just check off the work and not really like it or do it. She just did it because she had to do it. And when we switched to master books, all of that changed. And um, our curriculum is slowly coming in for next year. And she's excited to start science. She's excited to start, um, we're going to do advanced writing strands with her or writing strands advanced. And she is excited. She grabbed the book and she was literally jumping up and down. Um, but anyways, back to astronomy. So I love the astronomy because it starts out with a stargazer's guide. And it talks about um, how to find things in the stars or the constellations. Um, it talks about... Um, um, uh, different telescopes to use. You can use even use binoculars, which I did not know. Um, it comes with the planisphere where you can change it to the date and time, and it tells you where the constellations are and the star rotation, which is awesome. Um, it's very practical and very easy, and our children, or our daughter, loved this. And then when she got to our created moon, the other book, um, she loved that it talked about scriptures in the moon, how to answer the critics. You can see, sorry, there's a glare. Um, how to answer your critics, which she loves knowing the how and the why on things. It also talks about the moon in scripture and the different names of the moon. It's very awesome. Um, it talks about the craters. She liked this because um, evolutionists say that our moon is 4.6 billion years old. And she learned that it's not. It's around 6,000 years old because young earth creation and God created. Her favorite book was 
this one. It's called Taking Back Astronomy. My dog loved it too. You can see that he enjoyed it. Um, and she loved this book because it was very in-depth and very science-y. Um, she loved that it talked about um, extraterrestrials and why they aren't real. You can see, ah, sorry about the glare, the different, um, the alien, the pictures are uh, phenomenal in here. I love everything about it. My favorite part is if you can see there's scripture throughout the book. It's not just about stars and planets and this is what we believe. They back it up and we pulled our Bible out and we also um, looked up these verses in our Bible so our kids could see them and well that she could see them not just kids. Um, and she loved that fact. I also loved that these stars, the, the pictures, a lot of them come from NASA and you can see just how amazing the pictures are. The glare there. Um, my six year old picks up these books and loves them and looks at them also. And so for us, it's not just a course. It's not just, Oh, this is school. This is something that our kids love to look at, love to read, love to learn. And when we were on our um, way home last night, we were talking about my live today. And my 15-year-old son goes, oh, it talks about extraterrestrials and astronomy? And I said, yes. And he asked, well, what does it say? And my husband, Rick, says, pick up the book. You can read it yourself. So it's been um, a blessing to see that even the other kids want to pick up uh, these courses also and learn. And it really just sparks, sparks their um, curiosity. Um, last night, something really cool happened. Um, the Lord led us home in a funny way, and we did some things before we came home, and there was an accident on the road, and our six-year-old started asking about death and about um, what what happens and different things, and it led to my husband pulling over on the side of the road and leading him to Christ. It was phenomenal how God works. It was phenomenal how our kids were talking about um, salvation to him, and they were it, it was a family event and it was such a blessing to see it was it was amazing and we know our kids better than anybody that's why god gave us these kids and these courses this course of astronomy our daughter made it her own and she rabbit trailed where she wanted to rabbit trail she did some of the work that just kind of skimmed over things, but mostly like don't just pick up the book and just do the paper. Dig deeper and encourage your child to dig deeper because God really um, uses these books to teach us. Um, our daughter is um, super smart. She's super intelligent and so to see her learn more and to, to spark that and to uh, dig more and more into things is a blessing and our 15 year old picking up books and I just want to encourage you that master books is more than just books they're more than just a workbook like I have the teacher's guide here yeah it she used it but most of all when this is thrown away I'm sorry wrong direction when this is thrown away we still have these. And these books um, are going to be in our family forever. And that is a huge blessing that I have found that people come over to our house and they pick them up. People come over to our house and um, they want to learn more and they think it's cool that our curriculum has got woven into it and it's not just a curriculum. So anyways, as I rambled on, um, thank you for tuning in today, and I look forward to um, getting more support out of this group and seeing how you other moms are using master books and especially the high school. I enjoy seeing how people use the high school because 
I am not one to really get on and say this is how we do it and this is what we do. And I think as high school moms, we need to support each other also and get on and say, hey, this is what I'm doing because high school is just as important as the younger grades too. So uh, God bless and have a fantastic Monday. Thanks.